Hi, Cancer. This is your January 2021 reading. Your song is Bring It All To Me by... I don't know how to pronounce their name. Is it Blake? I think it may be Blake. Um, it says, baby, bring it all to... Whoa. Okay, your three cards already came out. This was the first one. Second one. And then boom. Whew, okay. Leave it to you to have a serious reading, Cancer. <laughs> um, it says, baby, bring it all to me. But I don't need no fancy cars or diamond rings. Um, give me your time, your love, your space, your energy. Um, I put cancer. It's okay to be receptive to love. Some cancers want to control their relationship and their partners. That's no fun. Um, to strip someone of their free will. Cancer, if you're in a codependent situation, which more than likely, if you have not done the spiritual work and all the things and you're pointing fingers and you don't have no boundaries and you're complaining about something repeatedly, baby, and you don't know how you can coexist without this person, nine times out of ten, when cancer placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, when you get into a partnership and there aren't healthy boundaries and when there isn't a strong sense of self-identity because you're of water, baby, you merge and then you start forming your identity based on this other person, right? Then And then say, for instance, this person leaves you having a meltdown. Oh my God, how could you leave me? I helped you with your taxes. I helped you get your son potty trained. I helped you. I helped, I helped, I helped. Cancer, how about you help yourself to smacking yourself in the face? Why you keep helping these people? Cancer, you are helping these people inauthentically. Because at the end of the day, you want something back. You want them to have this unwavering commitment to you, whether you're feeling moody, whether you're feeling sometimey. You want these people to be committed to you when you aren't even committed to your own mood swings. Hello, somebody. Cancer. You have to ground yourself in your own emotions because your emotions take you on this worldwide tour of stuff that isn't even concrete. You have this negative thinking and you allow your emotions to blow you whichever way your emotions say. Like, oh, this person is doing this, this person is doing that. And that could not be the case, Cancer. So, um, I also put... You can you could benefit from figuring out why you're so dependent on another person. Invest in more opportunities to be able to thrive on your own. Detach from outcomes and pessimistic thinking. Period. Okay. Okay. So All right, Cancer, you got the Eight of Swords. It's the heart of the matter, Lord somebody. Okay, so, Cancers, you are, like I was saying, you are willingly staying stuck, okay? You are willingly staying stuck Your thoughts are keeping you captive. You are constantly thinking about something, thinking about something. Oh my God, what if this person does this? What if this person does that? Slow the fuck down, Cancer. Hi, who was that? Who's in here? I didn't even know somebody came in. I am doing, I'm on Cancer now. Cancer. Okay. Who's in here? So, um, Cancer. 
Unfortunately, that's true. It's me. Oh, hey. What's your sign? Um, Cancer. You, you are, you are, ooh. You hold yourself captive to what others think of you, right? So you are looking for this validation. Oh, okay. Perfect. You're right on time. Cancer, um, when you haven't done the work, okay, you can be very, um, very gullible to what people think of you so much so that you will overextend yourself so that you are seen in a good light to others. You want you cancer wants to be known as a good person. They want to be known. They want to be known, want to be known as a good person. Um, and I want some of my cancers to, if you can try to get into that Aquarius energy where it's just like, fuck. Ooh, baby. I didn't put the, my first finger up. Fuck the system. I'm I'm beating my own path. I'm doing what I want to do. Like, I got to look out for self first. Um, Cancer, if you have the ability to do this, do look out only for you for the rest of January and the rest of February, okay? Just, you know, that's just one and a half months. Do only things that you feel called to do for you. Um, I call this radical self-care where you're not thinking about nobody else. It's all about cancer because guess what? Cancer, you carry a lot of people on your back. You over and extend yourself and, oh, you know what? I'm going to help you pay for college. Oh, you know what? I'm going to pay your groceries. Oh, you know what? You short on your rent. I'm going to help you. Oh, you know what? You need somebody to emotionally dump on even though I'm not available and I'm going through my turmoil. Come dump on me. And then you trying to figure out why you got a nasty mood cancer. I say this to all my water signs. Do not allow people to dump on you. Although you have this warm, loving, understanding, accepting nature, get people to ask you, is it okay? Like, let them, they need to do a temperature check. Because nine times out of ten, water signs, y'all moody as hell anyway. Okay? We already, excuse me, we already going through the motions because the bitch at work irritated us. For the 15th time, right? And you calling me, and I don't want to say no for my people who have problems saying no. Um, and then you allowing this person to dump on you, and you're enmeshing with their energy. Because, you know, when a cancer feels, they will take on somebody else's pain. Be able to be present and empathize, but don't enmesh. Just got off the phone with someone just before getting on here. Well, thank you so much. Oh, you are so welcome. Um, but yeah, the harder the matter for my cancers. Um, some of my cancers are um troubled by their thoughts, troubled by um their opinion, how others are going to view them. Fuck them, cancer. You gotta say fuck them. Um, with this eight, this is an inf that's a, a infinity loop. So it's like um, I feel like you go through. You have went through several cycles of um, being feeling like you're bound and it's like, oh, what is this person going to think if I do this? What if this person is going to do if I don't answer my phone? What is this person going to do if I say no? Say no, cancer. Don't answer the phone. Something that I am practicing cancer. Okay. If I don't have the energy, I don't answer. I calls the person back, whoever I need to call, and sometimes they don't pick up. It wasn't meant for us to talk today. Okay? Be okay without being at everyone's back and call. Okay? Period. <laughs> so, um, cancers, once you choose to um, walk away from this energy because you your feet are free. The only thing that's bound is your arms and you are blindfolded because you're not seeing things for what they are, right? Once you see things for what they are and you can move forward, I feel like you can go into a queen of wands energy, okay? 
We love the Queen of Wands over here, baby. That's Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So that means you're going to boss up. Okay? You're going to boss up. You're going to be very firm when you're saying no. No. And if you don't have to explain, and then, and then sometimes you're not explaining your no. It's just no. Okay? No is a complete sentence. Um, I feel like some of my um, cancers are could benefit from tapping into their playful energy, right? You know, you, listen, you didn't cry enough rivers for you to form your own late cancer, okay? Get outside and go play, go have a drink, go have some fun, do something that you, that that makes you happy. We're not talking about nobody else, anybody, your fat, nothing, Go do something that makes you happy, Cancer. What is it? And if somebody views it as strange, maybe you want to go do cartwheels in the park. Go by yourself. Okay? <laughs> Whatever it is that you want to do. Go pet the animals at Petco or something. You know, we know you love physical touch and you love animals, possibly. You know, unless you're allergic. But, yeah. And then, whoo, okay. Okay. The other outside influence is the tower, okay? Tower moments do not have to be bad things, okay? It's things that are inevitable. It's a shakeup. So maybe this shakeup is you placing firm boundaries and telling people, no, I'm not doing that favor for you. No, I'm not available. No, 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 no. Okay? And, um... Yeah, because I feel like it could be a a matter of the heart when it comes to this tower moment. If it's not, um, maybe I feel like some of my cancers are going through a, a, a death process where they are saying goodbye to certain things that don't serve them anymore. So maybe some of them, it's a tower moment where cancer is saying, okay, you know what? I'm done with self-sabotage. I'm worthy of healthy love. If somebody comes toward me, I'm not going to test them. I'm not going to trick them. I'm not going to um, have these emotional tantrums just so I can get attention. I'm going to communicate, right? Cancers, I want y'all to use your words. Use your words, okay? Because more often than not, you attract your opposite, so, you know, when you can look at somebody cancer and you can tell that their spirit is not at ease and they are sad and they need a hug, the person you're dealing with probably look and they like, oh, damn, she look fat as shit. Oh, damn, his shoes nice. You know, y'all operate on two different frequencies if you attract your opposite. Okay, so cancer. Um, if you are dealing with your opposite, there's a lesson you need to learn, right? So if you are dealing with someone who's not engrossed with their feelings, learn how to detach. I told you, get into that Aquarius energy. Detach, 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 Cancer. Detach. Because your emotions blind your perception of things. When you get upset, you want revenge, right, Cancer? Hello. When cancer gets upset, they want revenge because it's like, how dare you take uh, advantage of my good heart? I'm a good person. I'm a good this. I'm a good that. Leave people where they at cancer. Leave people where they at. I find that like a lot of cancers, they want that instant revenge when they feel like somebody has played with them. Let them people be where they at cancer. Let them be. Um, What some water signs have to realize is water placements in general you are here to nurture right who nurtures mothers when you have a kid they are yours from zero to 18 you got to let them go right so um don't feel guilty for nurturing things and letting them go i feel like cancer has to learn how to let go Oh, you were here in my life for, for three years, letting you go. You were here in my life for six months, letting you go. You were here for two days, letting you go. Do you hear me? It's a beautiful feeling when you learn how to detach as a water sign, okay? 
You're going to be on top of the world. You're going to feel victorious. Ain't nothing. I promise you, once you start letting stuff roll off your back as a water sign, baby, unstoppable. Unstoppable. Um, But, yeah, there's always a lesson to learn when you attract your polar opposite, right? So, um, yes, emotions are good, but sometimes disconnect cancer. It can be, it can be very, cancer can, can be very emotionally heavy. It's like, oh, cancer, hey, how are you? Oh my God, my dog, he's at the vet. My stomach is cutting up. I ate some chili. Like, and it's like, damn, cancer, you ain't have to tell me all that. Like, I know people, you know, they do blanket statements when they say, oh, I'm doing good, I'm doing okay. Learn how to withhold certain things, Cancer, because sometimes you can cause a parade, like, it's like a sad parade on people's day sometimes, just sometimes, you know. Know who and who not to open that emotional bubble with. Yeah, you know, Cancer's like, ugh. I'm so stressed. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta run to the bar, but I gotta, I gotta talk to. I gotta go take my man to the airport. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta go pick up my new ports. So, yeah, cancer. You done drained me, and then I was on the phone with you for five seconds. Stop playing, cancer. Okay, stop playing. So, um, that is Cancer's messages. Let me, um, <laughs> let me get your clarification card. Gemini. Oh, no, I did Gemini. Mm. Okay, so Cancer, um, I want you to flow. Release the need to control. Just flow with things. Don't dictate what's going on. Oh, no, we're doing this. We're do nope, release. Okay, accept each day as it is. A new day is a new slate. Yesterday, that don't count. It's over with, okay? And then, um, I feel like cancer is constantly repeating themselves to someone. If, you know, if somebody, if somebody's not hearing you, maybe, look, maybe, I don't know, this is just a thought. Maybe you need to just subtract yourself from the situation where you're not around this person as much. So they really see like, oh, cancer is serious. Because I feel like cancer, you may be barking and saying, oh, I, you need to do this, you need to do this. I want to be treated this way. The best thing you can do is detach. Detach. Speak on what your boundary is and detach. Um, And next up we have Leo. Okay, thank you guys for joining me. Um, next up is a Leo. Your song is the next. Ooh, I'm sorry. Let me end this video.